Are you so sick and tired of sitting down to play a board game and having your kids fight and argue? Well, try playing this cooperative game called Outfoxed. Okay, don't get me wrong. I do like a little friendly competition, but sometimes my boys get a little too competitive and then it's no fun. So cooperative games are great because they promote um, teamwork and sibling bonding, and it's a great way to teach them to work together as a team to accomplish a goal or beat a game. My kids are four and seven, and they both love playing Outfoxed and I like this game too. It's not one of those games that you're sick of playing over and over. I enjoy it. So let me show you what's so great about this game and how to play it. This game is a two to four player game recommended for ages five and up. And from setup until the end of the game, it takes about 20 minutes. A fox has stolen a pot pie. And the object of the game is to work together to gather clues and eliminate possible suspects to figure out who the guilty fox is before he escaped. The game is classified as a whodunit game. Think of it like Clue, but for kids. To set up the game, each player takes a detective's hat and places it in the center of the board. This piece is the fox that has stolen the chicken pot pie. Place the fox on the start space. Your job is to determine his identity before he makes it all the way to his foxhole. Next, take the 12 suspect cards and put them around the game board face down. Each card has a different fox on it with characteristics that you will use to determine which one of these suspects is the actual thief. Before the game starts, turn over two. Next, choose one thief card from the stack and stick it in the clue decoder as shown. Make sure no one sees the back of this card. Place the stack of clue cards somewhere on the board. The pictures on these cards are of articles of clothing or accessories that the thief is wearing. Game starts with the first player announcing out loud if they're going to search for clues or reveal suspects. Then they roll the three dice. Players have three chances to roll the three dice all facing the same symbol. The dice contain two symbols. The eyes represent reveal suspects. The paw prints represent search for clues. Let's try some practice rolls. This player wants to reveal suspects. On roll one, they got two. They didn't get it on the second. Oh, and on the third, they didn't. This means the fox gets to move three places. This player also wants to reveal suspects. They got it on the first turn, so they can turn over two suspect cards. This player is trying to get reveal clues. After three rolls, they were able to get all three paw prints. So you count the number of paw prints on this one four and move your hat that number of spaces. If you land on the paw print, you get a clue card. This card has a top hat. So we're gonna enter it into the decoder to find out if our thief is wearing a top hat. A white symbol or dot means no, a green one means yes. So since the decoder showed us that our thief does not have a top hat, we can remove Belvedere. Keep those clue cards handy because every time you turn over a new suspect, you can use the clues to eliminate innocent foxes. There are three ways to end the game. First, if you think you know who the suspicious fox is, you can name that suspect and check to see if they match the fox in the decoder. If they match, you win. A second way to end the game is if you can eliminate every suspect but one. Then check the decoder and make sure it matches. The third way to end the game is if the fox reaches the foxhole before you've determined his identity. Oh well, better luck next time. 
So, as you can see, some of the perks of this game, not only are your kids working collaboratively, but they're also learning some good deductive skills and paying attention to details. Well, doesn't this look like the perfect game for a family game night? I know it is a favorite in our house now, and to be honest, a game where we don't fight is a win. If you want to know more about this game, make sure to check out the description below because I've included a link. Remember parents, everyone burns their first pancake, including me, so just keep flipping.